All right, so today we're going to work or look into adding radial menus for VR chat in Unity. So let's assume that you have um, a toggle that you want to add for an object. We're going to work on just toggling an object on and off and adding that toggle to the radial menu. So currently I just have my plushy avatar. He's rigged and set up and ready to go for VR chat. He's got this armature. Let's see, we've got the bones here. You can see all those in the hierarchy here. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a object to toggle in this character so that when we run the game, we can see the character, we can see the object, and then we can use the radio menu to turn it on and off. So we're gonna add um, I don't know, something simple. We're going to do a cylinder, and then I'm going to call this cookie. And then uh, we're going to get rid of the capsule collider. We don't need that. So now, let's see, position and scale. We'll do that one. All right, so we're going to take our cookie, now that we have it placed where we want it, we're going to put it as a child of jaw. So if I take jaw, and I was to rotate it, the cookie will move with it. So when my character animates his mouth, you can see the cookie moving with it. Great, now we have the object we're going to mess with. So first off, we're going to need to create an animation to toggle it on and off. So I need to select the cookie, and then I need to create We'll do animation. I'm going to call this cookie on underscore on. And then I'm going to go into my animation here because we're in cookie on. I'm going to select this, but apparently, yeah. So we're going to create cookie on, save. It's going to replace it. So now the, the animation is pointing to the object I want to animate. So now I want to add a property. Right, okay, so we gotta find it inside the hierarchy for the armature. That's where it is. It's fine, we gotta find the object we're turning off and on. So we're gonna go to chest, neck, head, jaw, jaw one, cookie is active. There it is. That's the one we need. Make sure there's no other Random, yep, there is. Okay, so I'm going to delete that keyframe. So we have cookie set to on, so we toggle that one on, and then control C, control V. Okay, control, control V. Move a Control C. Keyframe one. Click here. Control V. There. Now we have to do the same thing for cookie off. Move that property. Add, and then we just gotta find our object inside the hierarchy. And hit is active. And then we have that set to toggled off. And instead of deleting and removing this stupid thing, I'm just going to take this end one here and move it over here. So now frame zero is the same as frame one. So now if I hit cookie on and select one of these, it should be active. Yep. And then I go to cookie off. It is currently deactive. So now, if I was to save, so in the VR chat character, we have our character descriptions, we have our expressions and playable layers. We have to do only st one minor thing. We hit customize and it creates a menu and a parameters for the expressions. This is what we're going to create assets for. Playable layers 
is that we're also going to play with the effects layer because we are creating a bunch of animations that are not going to modify our gestures or our base animations and all that other stuff or our actions. These are for like special effects and it won't break any of your currently existing animations. So these are all set to defaults already. So we're going to create an animation controller and we're going to do that now. Let's do animation controller and we're going to call this, uh, I don't know, plushy FX. So now inside the plushy FX, we have layers and parameters. And of course there's nothing in here at all. So we need to change that. So I need, because I'm going to add one item, I'm going to add one layer. This layer is going to be cookie. And then I'm going to hit this gear icon, turn the weight to one, because I absolutely want to make sure that it is going to affect it. If this is set to zero, nothing will happen when this activates. This is all we have to do because mask is already set to none. If we were to mess around with masks, it would screw it with everything. None of these have to be ticked. Nothing has to be changed. Just the weight to one. Then in parameters, I'm going to create one called an int. I'm going to go uh, lowercase cookie, capital T, toggle, toggle, toggle. I'm going to set that as zero. So now, all I need is to drop cookie off as the first one, because on entry, we want to make sure the cookie is turned off. Then we drop cookie on. So we make a transition to and from both states that we're modifying here. So what we need is we need to make sure that cookie toggle is equals to one when we want to turn it on, which means we've toggled it from on, from off to on. Now we just do the reverse on cookie on to cookie off. So we add a condition, cookie toggle equals zero. And that's it. And yeah, all this other stuff is good. So now we don't have to touch any of this. Next, we now have to add Create VR Chat Avatars Expression Menu and Expression Parameters. We're going to start with parameters because now we are going to create the cookie on um, or the cookie toggle parameter. <clears throat> so we're going to call this plushy uh, plushy expressions params. And I'm going to add, see how it, I hit add and now it added a new one down here. We're going to name this cookie toggle. Same way we did. And we're going to change this to int. It's going to sit as zero. So now <coughs> we're going to create the menu VR chat avatars expressions menu, we're going to call this plushy expressions menu. And then we're going to add control, name this cookie toggle. This is arbitrary. This does not need to equal the exact thing we just created. This is just so you know what this is made for. So this name we just made is what sets this. So we know what it is. I could just name this Dookie Blah, and it renames the dropdown. So this, it doesn't need to be important. So we're just gonna call this cookie toggle. And then you can set the icon to be whatever you like. And VRChat was nice enough to give you a bunch of them. And for the toggles, I tend to use the item light asset. So I just click a little circle here, it brings up the texture you can select, and by default inside the SDK you can get and use one of these nice looking little freebies that they hand you. And then on here we can put 
what kind of type we're going to use, and of course we're making a toggle, so we're going to set it as toggle. Now we're going to set the parameter as under lowercase cookie. This is the spelling that is absolutely required. Toggle. We have to spell this exactly as we did for the um, expression params. Yes. Words. So that should show up. None? No. Cookie toggle. Params not found in active avatar descriptor. That's right, because we didn't add it to the avatar descriptor yet. So this is where we're going to fix that. So because we made our plushy effects animation controller, we're going to click on this, and that removes the default from that list. We will now drop our FX controller boop, right there. Down here, our menu, this one is our menu, the first one. So you're going to make sure you drop the first one, our plushy expressions menu, into the menu. Then we're going to drop our plushy expressions parameters into parameters. Now, if we look at our parameters, our expressions menu, because we plugged everything in, now it knows, because we spelled cookie toggle, that it exists, and it is an int. And it has a value of 0 to 1. So now, all right, so we're going to start with it being turned on. Maybe that might fix it by default here. I'll fast forward ahead of time and see if this works. I'll just turn you on. Assets, and then I'll just drop the metal material on it and then save and then VR chat SDK build and publish okay so now we turn on the mirror okay everything is good my avatar is not all screwed up because of the animations it's a good sign so now go to emote action menu expressions cookie and there it is. I have the cookie in my mouth.